Hello there, in this tutorial we are going to create a fancy rotation chain controller and to do that I've created beforehand this tail like thing just so we can see the, the results on it. Oh, basically what I'm going to do here is create the bones that's going to move this guy. Alright, so now that we have the bones in the middle of it, this here is almost complete, we would say. But what I want to do here is to get the result of me being able to move a single bone and then rotate all of them together like this. But if by any chance I want to rotate just a single part of this chain I also should be able to do that then for that let's first change the name of this chain here I'm going to press ctrl f2 to batch rename and change this from object to bones and this find and replace I'm going to set name and going to put it as new so this here is going to be death because it's a deformable bone and i'm going to call this tail.001 and just so blender copies the number throughout the chain and there we go and so it's 001 002 3 and so on okay so now what we have to do here to make it work properly is to disconnect these bones because at the moment they are connected so I'm going to select all of them you can press Alt P and disconnect bone awesome so now I'm able to move it freely like that nice then here we are going to do the, the, the following thing which is we are going to select the bones other than the, the base of the, of the rotation and the tip of the rotation because it's not needed and we are going to shift D right click to keep it at the same place make sure you are using individual origins so you can press period or full stop and then individual origins right here or you can change it through here and then we are going to scale these bones down Okay, so we can see them uh, inside these other bones here. Alright, so now to make you actually work, we are going to need to change the parenting of this chain. And we are going to get the small bone and parent it to the previous big bone. So we can press Ctrl P and keep offset this one's already parented to this because it was a copy of this one but one thing we need to do now then is to parent the big bone with the small bone that's inside of it the big bone the small bone sometimes it's difficult to select and then ctrl p keep offset here I'm going to use the other one, so keep up such. Nice. And same thing, I'm going to select the small one, big one, keep up such. Big one, small one. Whoops. Jesus Christ, it's difficult to select it like this. So let me do this. And keep up such. <clears throat> Small one, big one, keep it offset. Big one, the small one. Keep it offset. Small one, previous big one, keep it offset. Big one, small one, keep it offset. And the last one, big one, big one. Keep it offset, it's already there, so we don't need to do anything. Okay, so now one thing we also need to do is to 
take out this deform option from the the small bones because we don't want them to be deforming the mesh and we keep the big ones with the deform own all right so here what we are going to do is to copy the rotation going forward so we are going to select the base going to select the bone in front of it Control shift c and copy rotation right here and we have to do the same thing but now we shift one bone to the right so select this one select the next one Control shift c copy rotation or if you have the telegy rigger add-on you can select this bone select this bone press d copy rotation this one this one d copy rotation this one this one d copy rotation all right but now we have all of these bones with the mix as replace and the target and owner as word space but we want it to be after original and these ones we want to be a local space so i'm going to select all these bones here as well and going to change this to after original and then right click copy to selected and these ones as well so local space right click copy to selected local space right click copy to selected just to be sure going to check yep and they're all fine and then now if we move this bone here we see let me go a little bit further off we move the whole chain and I can choose any bone on the chain and it's going to move the chain that's going to the tip of the, the rotation chain. And also if I want a finer control and I don't want to move all the bones, I can select the bone that's inside of it and rotate it like that so it doesn't affect the chain. Just to see how it looks in a uh, mesh, we are going to select the mesh, select the armature, control P, and with automatic weights. Doing that, we can go back to pose mode and test it out. So, there we go. And here, now it would just be a matter of uh, refining the, the weight painting and things like that but we have something that's pretty interesting and working nicely again the small bones move just like it would uh, a normal bone without the, the chain control now i'm going to show you how to do it if you do have the telegy rigger add on okay now that we have it back to its original state, if you do have the add-on, the only thing you need to do is go to pose mode, select your chain, and then press N, go to the little rigger, and here we have this create rotation chain. So press it, and there we go, it's finished. So now you can rotate it like this, you can select it right here, and you can also select the middle one and it works just like we've done before here's an example of what we could do with that rotation chain and basically the only different thing that it has is custom shapes and that's all so the big bones control the whole chain and the small bones here inside controls just that part specifically just like we had with the small bones and the tail like thing that we created before and this can be used in most in lots of parts of the body for example here i have it on the tail i have it on the spine and so small one is going to control it locally and the big ones are going to control the chain like that and the same for the neck here i have 
a bone here and then it controls the whole chain and that's it for today i'll see you in the next one bye